everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I've got a new journal to share with you. Um, this is the Practical Beekeeper um, from Seneca Pond Crafts. I've used this kit before and I loved it so much I knew I wanted to create another one. Um, this time I've chosen um, to, to do it on a hard cover journal. Um, so this measures Uh, it's about five and a half by eight and a half, um, but with the spine it's slightly slightly more. But on the front, I've just done um, <clears throat> a lot of layers of various papers from the kit that I printed out, and then I've done some layering of vintage laces and little pieces from. Uh, doilies that I had and then I've added some of the Irish linen uh, twine to it and then a book plate but this is journal um, and then on the back I put a pocket and then a handmade tag so that's tucked in there it's a three signature uh, I've really enjoyed uh, making this one I, I just love this kit so much as you guys know on the front here, I've just uh, done various journaling cards, some stitching, um, uh, stamped tag, and then this is um, the pages from the kit. I've sewn all of these in to... Um, tea dyed paper so it's a really nice thick and then I did um, a little pocket here just a small altered uh, guest guest check and then um, this is a Miss Cog from the pollinators kit that that image is from um, this is just a printed out from online I've done some stamping on fabric and then stitched it to some vintage trim tabs throughout the journal. This is another Miss Cog image I've stitched in there and then this is from the kit. Um, this is from uh, Miss Cog and then just another little tag I had. I've done stenciling in this journal This is another of the journal um, pages. There's some Edith Holden page. Um, I've got, um, you know, regular printed paper with lined. A lot of journaling space. Um, here I've just added a, it's a little, um, little tuck spot for you there. Here I've done some, um, this is a, like an index card that's been tea dyed. I've done some stamping throughout. Um, just various things from my stash that I thought went well with the journal. Um, love this. This is another of the pages from the kit. Like I said, it's all been back, so it's a really nice heavy weight, so it'll be nice for writing on. You could do lots of, um, you know, journaling. Here's um, one of the postcards from the kit, and then this is just another little tag I printed out with some coordinating um, scrapbook paper that I had. Here's uh, a little stamped tag, and I've done a little collage here with some cheesecloth. You see that up close. It's got a bit of bling on that scrapbook paper. I like that. It's a paper pad I recently picked up here. Um, here is um, this is a Tracy Fox um, pocket, and then this is from the uh, the kit. And then I just made this little um, writing notebook with leftover scraps and then I did some collaging here on this. A bit of fabric with a vintage button. 
some tracing paper I've added in that's been tea dyed. And this is another, um, you know, just various things from the kit and then, you know, just things from my own stash. This is one of the little tiny envelopes. I love that. And I've left that. Um, so that's tucked in there. It's a big journal, a um, lot, of, lot of writing space. This is another, the journaling cards. This is a double pocket um, that I've stitched all around. Here I've done another, um, this is uh, some of the craft paper. I've doubled that up, stitched it, so it's a nice heavy duty uh, pocket. And then just various um, journaling cards that I've got. <clears throat> This is another image from it. I've just taken that out, cut it down, and added to it. And this is one of the um, little envelopes that comes in the kit. These are so pretty. So I've left that um, blank, and then I just cut out another little little tag there from it, from some uh, coordinating scrapbook paper. Hope everybody had a nice weekend. Uh, it's kind of early here, so I'm still still working on my coffee and trying to get everything, the brain brain up and running. So if I'm a little bit slow, I'm sorry. That's that's what it is. <clears throat> here, a uh, glassing bag. I've just added a little tag in there. Another page from the kit. It's all been sewn in. Tracing paper, and then here I did a little uh, flip out. So you've got um, you've got a spot here you can add some things. And I also created a little pocket here. And that's a little tag that goes in there. I love that with the embossing. More stenciling. This is um, some B. Um, digital paper I um, had purchased um, a while back so the, I printed out some of that and added that to the, the book. It's definitely uh, bee themed. I, I tried to keep everything related to just uh, to bees with it. Um, here I've just made a little pocket um, and just various things from my stash I tucked in. I made a little like a um, bookmark with this and it's so it's been backed with some paper another of the journaling cards from the kit and this is from the kit as well it's a really pretty little tag just some more stenciling and stamping this is another of the pages from the kit a big kit as well. You get a lot of um, uh, background papers and um, you know journal pages and then ephemera. There's quite a lot of ephemera in this. I didn't use uh, all of it in this kit. There's so much. There's one of the uh, postcards. Those are beautiful. Another page, another of the uh, fabric tabs, and then here I've just done a glass scene with a three pockets on it. Did some collaging uh, with scrap papers I had, and then this is another. These little mason jars come with the kit, so you got two tuck spots on front of the glass scene pocket there, and this is one of the little envelopes from the kit. It's a really, um, I like the colors in this. Uh, they're very calming. This is more um, digital printout paper. I, I thought it went nicely with it. <clears throat> Some more of the uh, pages from the kit. 
And here I've just uh, stitched one of Miss Cog's images to some scrap paper and made a little tuck spot there. And this is one of the journaling cards. Guest check, but it's been tea dyed, and then another of the index cards. Some tracing paper. This is another um, little envelope that comes in the kit that's been tucked in, and then I made another little tuck spot here. And these little tags come in the kit. Aren't they beautiful? Two seconds, guys. I'm going to get a sip of coffee. worry about having my coffee in my crafting space because I'm so clumsy. I just I can just imagine me spilling it all over everything. <laughs> so I don't tend to bring it up. Uh, but this morning it was such an early start for me. I don't know why. I woke up wide awake. Um, so I thought, oh, I better just get on and uh, <clears throat> get on up and get started. Try to get a bit of time in early. Um, here is a this is a piece of craft cardstock that I've just run through the embossing and then added that. I love how dark that page has come out. And this is another one of the little um, envelopes you get in the kit. So I've just added that and then tied it. So lots of room if you wanted to add more uh, pockets you could to this journal obviously I'd, it's, a, it's a balance I'm still trying to achieve because I don't know if I'm, if I'm adding too many pockets and embellishments or not enough but I'm just trying to, um, to do what I think I would want and hopefully that that, that um, appeals to someone else this is a um, this is from Tracy Fox's kit. Um, I forgot the name of it, but she it's a really nice little kit because you just cut this out and then she's got the pocket already made for you. In fact, she's got multiple pockets. So I thought it, it coordinated really nicely with this. Um, and then I've just added one of the Miss Cog images to it. And then here, this is some of the ephemera that Tracy gives you. Um, so I've tucked that in there. I did some distressing on that. And then this is another Miss Cog image. And uh, I put a little library card there. And I've just folded this over and clipped it in. A little clip there. So that can be moved throughout the journal as well. Yeah, it would be interesting to see your comments, if any, you know, what, what you guys like within your journal, if there's a percentage that you like of, of tuck spots. And because I know there's so many uh, artists out there, and everybody's style is very different and very unique to them. And I've seen some that are just, you know, you can't even close them because they're so full of embellishments. And then I've seen other very plain that um, don't even have any pockets, so I, I don't know, uh, but I just try to give an, plenty of room in mind for writing and hopefully enough place for you can, you know, tuck spots and things. This is a um, doily punch I've got, um, and so I've just created another little tuck spot here, and then I did some embellishing with the bees, so um, I think that really fits in nice with that. Bit of punching there. And then on the back here, this is one of um, Nick the Booksmith's tutorials. I really like this little thing. Um, she's She's got a tutorial on how to make this. It's super easy. But I included this in the back. So this all flips out. So you've got room. You can tuck. It's a tuck spot there, another tuck spot here, and a pocket here. And then uh, I just embellished this, so I thought that was a really, 
really cute and went nice with this, so I did some stitching on it as well. So, there you go, guys. That is my beekeeper journal. Finally, um, I've been working on this one for a while, a little bit here and a little bit there. Um, it's just... It's just one of those kits that, yeah, I, I will go back to time and time again. I will put the, um, it's the Practical Beekeeper. I will put that link below if you're interested in that kit. Um, and I'll also have a listing for this because this journal is going to be in my Etsy shop today. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I've got lots of projects coming this week. So if you haven't subscribed to me, please do subscribe like and hit the bell for notifications from me. So thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.